Good stream today. Feeling it. Oh, Nicole's in the chat and she's not even at home. Uh, thanks for the follow on uh, Twitch, uh, Goo Goo Comeback and Ryolin. That's just a really nice uh, kind of song to get into the stream, that kind of thing. Uh, thanks for the follow, uh, LCO. Uh, some Chrono Cross? Maybe. Um, I do want to do some uh, Chrono Cross tracks as soon as I've got all this uh, Inwalker music out. Um, I was actually working on another Goldov, like, right before I started working on that, and then I kind of dropped it. <laughs> Dude, I'll eventually do Snowden Town. <laughs> it's, I gotta be honest, like, once I have an arrangement written down or, like, kind of done, I, uh, I don't, like, lose interest is not the word, but, like, um, it's less inspiring to go when I, uh, ha already have it figured out. So what I've done to, uh, try to keep that inspiration going, um, is I just immediately put it into uh my music editor uh like how i uh, finale if you know that kind of thing it's similar to guitar pro but yeah i have snowden town written down in a book and it's just ah, it's so hard for me to open it <laughs> but eventually i will i have like 20 chrono trigger songs just sitting in a notebook so <laughs> uh anyways uh this is uh Another one that isn't too hard, but super relaxing, helps me get in the mood of the stream. Dude, I'll eventually do that Donkey Kong track. I love that song so much. Like, <laughs> I laugh every single time, uh, like, I don't know if you guys watch, uh, Andrew Callahan 
uh, like Channel 5 news. Um, but, it, like, they use aquatic ambiance, like, all the time in those interviews. We'll see, I might do some exp some uh, <laughs> percussive exploring here, we'll see. Yeah, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, Mar Marcello in the chat, he has a, a lot of uh, Donkey Kong tracks, uh, I think with uh, Guitar Duo, uh, you guys should check out. Oh, okay. That's my cat. Yeah. Mia! All right, we got a cat visitor. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey. She's right below my feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's rubbing against my legs while I'm playing. <laughs> Nicole just talks to me uh, through the chat. <laughs> that, that was a well-timed meow. Um, yeah, Mia is... Uh, she she hangs out with me a lot at night. Like, uh, usually I'll be arranging, like, super late night. Like, 1 a.m. or something like that. And she'll, like, to... She actually just sits where I'm uh, sitting right now. And she'll just listen. It's very cute. Uh, do you recommend any particular met method to improve fretting dexterity? Well, if the keyword's dexterity, it's prob like, probably just not pressing down more than you need to. Um, something I remember um, a teacher... <laughs> now we're just getting started, but... Uh, something uh, I remember a teacher saying to me was uh, just, you know, with each finger just pressing and kind of feeling how much weight you actually need to put on the fret. You know, so you could start just from barely pressing and just slowly start to add some pressure. And honestly, I need to work on that. So like right there is roughly where, but like usually I'm pressing much harder, I think. 
But yeah, basically it's all about like economy of uh, uh, energy, I guess. Efficiency. You don't want to press down more than you need to. I remember I also, uh, I think it was with Pavel Steidel, I was in a master class with him. And uh, he talked about like trying to play, <laughs> this, this sounds crazy, uh, but trying to play things without your thumb. Like even if it's just a small segment, um, just because some people get like that vice grip uh, on the guitar. Uh, I'm guilty of that, like especially in bars. But yeah, trying to. <laughs> you can play this song uh, maybe without thumb. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Anyways, I uh, hope that helps you a little bit. All right. hand I assume you mean left hand fingering probably not um, mostly because I feel like everybody just has different ways of doing um, things uh, I I kind of feel like if I put uh, left hand fingering somebody's uh, probably gonna be annoyed that it's there because they like to do something different but I, I probably should for, especially like moments where it's like, okay, dude, there's no other alternative. Like, <laughs> you know, like a hint, I guess. Um, uh, thanks for the sub on YouTube, uh, Javier uh, Guitar and Kurt Kavanaugh. Appreciate it. All right, this is uh, The Labyrinth. If I can get it up on my tab. All right, on Charlotte. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, uh, super. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny. You got me. All right, um, this is Labyrinthos or the Labyrinth.
some more Mia, uh, some Mia yells at the end of that. Nicole just got home, so, uh, she's, uh, she's begging for attention. Hey, right, what's up, Moises? Thanks for the follow on Twitch, uh, Genosti. All right. I'm going to play some more Endwalker tracks, uh, probably in about, like, I'd say, uh, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Maybe less. to get emo though. All right, I'm going to play uh two to the moon tracks for you guys.
Oh yeah. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Do a Foo Fighters song? Man. <laughs> I don't know the best one. But yeah, that tune's so nice, just... I can't lie, like, I, I have, like, Laura Shigihara's voice in my head when I'm, <laughs> when I'm playing that one. You guys should check out her stream, by the way. She uh, streams on Twitch. But yeah, I basically like have her singing in my head, try to uh, imagine that while I'm playing. No, nah, dude, I'm not playing Foo Fighters in <laughs> times like these. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Times like these, we learn to love again. It's true. <laughs> I got another confession to make. <laughs> Just totally derail the stream and start playing, yeah, Ozzy Osbourne or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but, dude, that's like the glor the glory days of the internet, the Wild West days, where you just have Foo Fighter, the best, the best, the best memes. And somehow that was the most popular stuff on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, another To the Moon track by uh, Congel. This is For River. Or Forever, if you didn't get it.
Ooh, it's kind of a finger killer. All right, let's do some Endwalker tunes. Hey, I'm doing well. Ooh, Haunted's theme? Dude, honestly, let's do that. I, I was thinking about doing that earlier. Um, I haven't played this in a long time. Let's do that then some Endwalker tunes. All right, um, let me look at this real quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can use capo on this. <laughs> Things kind of muddy without a capo, like this. Like if I was doing it no capo, I'd probably do uh, just an open D. I think it uh, just speaks a little bit better. Oh, thanks, thanks, Jeremy. Alrighty. And then we'll do imagination. It really is just <laughs> like I love capos, like I love playing with them. But like, man, once some time passes and it's no longer like under my fingers, anything past like the sixth fret is like, oh my god, I, I can't, you know. That simple addition of adding a capo number. I grew up in Mississippi, dude. Come on.
Yeah, that one's a lot of fun to play. I forgot how... Man, just beautiful that, uh... That transition is. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> uh, thanks for the the follow on Twitch, uh, Flemish Gamer, and on uh, uh, YouTube. Appreciate it. All right, in Walker time. Let's do it. Let's do it with one that's not from or not originally from Inwalker. All right, on Drats here. Looking forward to hearing it. So yeah, I'm gonna play um, a couple in Walker tracks, and I'm gonna play an, a new one in there. Ooh, we got the hype, the unknown, the unknown arrangement. Thank you. 
I don't have all the answers, but I got a couple. Yo, shout out to um, uh, my vision's bad. Sorry, MJV four two three five for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it, dude. And thanks, Chrome Lunchbox on uh, on Twitch for following. Thanks, guys. You guys are too kind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You looked up. Got well. I didn't mention. I didn't mention that it was a multi-movement suite of <laughs> of Endwalker tracks. That's so funny. All right, I'm gonna tune to this. Um, actually, okay. Yeah, let's do that order. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Might need a small handbrake here. Ooh, that that fatty six string. Dude, you already know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll do some Witcher songs sometime. I've I've just got a lot of like songs on my to-do list. Um, but I think like eventually I'll I'll hit all the ones I want to do. Uh, I'm after I'm done with this album. I'm gonna work on like Patreon request, like song requests that I haven't just uh, gotten to because of uh, I've been working on the album. So I'm probably gonna have like a, a whole month of just Patreon requests. Like off the top, uh, I'm gonna do Guardian Millennial Fair from Chrono Trigger, um, Awake from Celeste, um, Quitting the Body from Chrono Cross. Um, and Kane Salvation from Nier. So those are gonna come uh, probably in like April or something. <laughs> the 
moon thing from DuckTales. Man, I should do that just um, just for my youngest brother. He's a, a DuckTales fan. When's Elden Ring supposed to come out? Like, that might be a good one to, you know, do one track of or something. Yeah, I've already done uh, half the Celeste arrangement. I just haven't done the second half. Dude, so much of Chrono Cross is good. Like, that... I, I'm eventually going to do a Chrono Cross album. It's just... I, I want to approach it more relaxed. I have a tendency to... Uh, like, if I'm working on a project or an album, like, I literally throw away everything that I'm doing or, like, every... It's probably mental health or something. But, like, I throw away everything else and just so, like, tunnel vision on the project. Like, this Inwalker album, I think I have did it in, like, two months or something, which is, you know, I've been working probably too hard on it, but I need to relax a little bit. Yeah, man, I, I uh... You know it's good when I can put on the Chrono Cross uh, soundtrack in the car and my fiancé does not mind. Uh, we, we straight up drove to the Grand Canyon, um, like in a petrified forest, listening to the Cro uh, Chrono Cross uh, soundtrack. Oh, what am I doing? We're going even lower. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of Gale, <laughs> but <laughs> it's something like that. But dun dun dun, dun dun dun. <laughs> something like that. Except it's like much higher. Dude, my, <laughs> we are, I don't know if uh, you guys have gone to the Grand Canyon, but um, we uh, were trying to go on the Bright Angel Trail. <laughs> Dude, it, it was like almost comical. Like, uh, me and my fiancé were going down it, and we're like, man, this is kind of icy. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a good idea. And, you know, we're just walking down, and she's like, John, John, look <laughs> at the Grand Canyon. L look at it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of trying to focus on my walking. You know, don't, don't have health insurance at the moment. I, I need to, like, make sure I'm on my two feet. And, <laughs> she, dude, literally as I'm saying this, she just, dude, like, both feet from out from under her slips. <laughs> and, like, dude, busted it hard. Thankfully, she's okay, so I can, I can laugh. But, yeah, right after that, she was like, yeah, let, let, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. We would rather not slip into the canyon. Everybody else has like the hiking sticks, you know, we're just strolling up in tennis shoes. <laughs> I'm one of you guys. Oh, that's awesome uh, about Bryce Canyon, man. Uh, me and my fiance were supposed to go like in September, but she started to get some some health issues. Yeah, I want, I want to get a pair of hiking boots. I, st I straight up like <laughs> I go on, I go to that stuff in Vans and like sweatpants. <laughs> like, all right, all right. There's our intermission. All right, here's your Christian rock song as well. Let me get a water.
or something. Yeah, we're gonna do Zion too. It's about like five or five or six hours from us. All right, let's do it.
Yeah, fourth fret harmonics aren't too common. Hopefully, uh, they don't sound too bad. But man, the clash of that is, it's just so, uh, it's so, uh, rough, but, you know, in a good way. Like this. Uh, what's the purpose of shaking the guitar at then? No, I'm just messing around. You know, I can, I, if you're wearing headphones, I can give you some Doppler effect. Uh. There's your ASMR, AS guitar, ASM guitar. Yeah, exactly, for the feels, bro, for the aesthetic. Uh, thanks for the sub on YouTube, uh, Red Gluster. Um, do I think they'll rearrange Gale given some people's disdain for it? I don't know, man. I I've heard they, they're gonna, um... I've heard Mis Mitsudo's gonna, like... I don't know if they used rearrange? Maybe they did use that word. I can't remember if they said, like, remaster the soundtrack or rearrange or... But it was something like change it in some way. So I I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I think I think the problem with Gale is like it, it's maybe it's the instruments, but you know, it kind of has like a bluegrass vibe. It's like <laughs> I don't know, but but chromatic. Hot tub stream eventually. All right, twilight terraces time. Um, and then I'm gonna play a new one for you guys. They they said remaster the music. Yeah, so I I don't know what that means, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know if that means, like, re-record with, like, you know, new instruments. Or if that means, like, oh, it's been, you know, <laughs> there's a couple plugins added to make it sound cool, I don't know. <laughs> they rearrange Gale for the live show. Yeah, I think like with different instruments it could work, honestly. All right, let me make sure I'm not gonna flub this too hard. FF7 remake is <laughs> certainly a remake of the soundtrack. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. Jeez, slipping. All right, guys, this is Twilight Terrace. Strap in.
Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that's one I'm. I'm really proud of that arrangement. That just sounds so nice. Something that I like. Mm -hmm. uh, just messing around with the accompaniment in the uh, this section. Just playing around with uh, like the levels of that is really nice. Thanks, uh, Daniel Navas on YouTube. Appreciate it, man. All right, new arrangement time. I think I'm done with this arrangement. Um, but who knows? One small step for man, one giant leap towards me finishing this arrangement. So, um, <laughs> hopefully I can do this. I, I was kind of going for like, in the, maybe I should just play it. Yeah, let me just play it. <laughs> Let's just say I was trying to do math rock, okay? And probably failed. And I've used this this tuning on like a lot of the Ed Walker tracks. This works so well. All right. Man, I hope I don't botch this. <laughs> All right, we might play this twice <laughs> if, if I mess this up. All right, guys, this is one small step.
<laughs> when I play that, it's gonna uh, it's gonna be a little bit better than that. Um, but yeah, basically the idea is start in super super nah, super uh, super spacey, um, just with the opening kind of sparse. Just letting everything kind of ring together. And then the second section, I tried to go for the, or I guess this is kind of also sparse. And then the, uh, the second section, I might play that again, honestly. Um, yeah, just trying to get in the pocket with the rhythm. Um, and yeah, just trying to do some percussion with some fills in between. So, uh... And then the, um, I was trying to think of like the form with it, um, because the track kind of starts with how I end it, uh, like. But it's kind of starts a little bit too spacey. Uh, how many years have I played uh, classical guitar? Um, I started classical when I was 15, so yeah, uh, probably 15, 16 years, 17, something like that. I picked it up uh, when I was a freshman in high school. Uh, thanks for the follow, Sean Smith, on YouTube. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, starting to get a bunch of tracks in this tuning. I'll just do a whole stream in this tuning. I may need a name for it. C, C, G, D, G, B, E. Have I played the Yamaha GC series at all? I, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Or is that like one of those silent guitars or something? Appreciate it. Shout out to Japan. In tuner. The in walker tuner. Emergency tuning. That's not bad. Alright, guys, I'm going to play one more for you. Um, somebody in the chat said something about Chrono Cross in the uh, beginning of the stream. GC is just Yamaha's classical guitars. Oh, I've I've played Yamaha. Um, what was it? Man, I can't remember the name. I, I want to say it was like eighty C or something like that. Hey, what's up, Subarus? Um, but yeah, I've, I used to use it uh, in class. You know, like twenty uh, Yamaha guitars. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to do a super chill last song for you guys. This is uh, Dimension Breach. Get into your feels. <laughs> F'd up C. So you have uh, F'd up tuning and F'd up C tuning. <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm like one step away from being those YouTubers that are like, I'm playing in chair tuning or something, <laughs> you know. I've I've made all of my strings the same pitch. <laughs> Just for the meme.
Don't tempt me. I will do it. I will be one of those YouTubers. Yeah, on, honestly, you know, I, I'm. If I was to uh, rearrange this song again, like I'd probably change the B section a little bit. Like maybe the voicing. It's not bad or anything. Just uh, a couple things are maybe a little unnecessarily difficult. Yes. <laughs> No, don't 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 trash anybody in the chat if you wouldn't mind. This is a positive only stream. All right. This is a positive only stream. Now get ready to cry. That's the stream, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks as always. Thanks, uh, Yuno Sama, Sama and uh, on YouTube for the sub. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, guys, thanks, thanks, for, uh, thanks for listening in. Um, I'm going to, uh, or I'm, I'm shooting for uh, like about March 4th um, to release um, on streaming services the Endwalker album. Hopefully I can. Um, it just depends on uh, licensing stuff um, uh, with the release because I'm, I'm not sure if the Endwalker album is uh, J Japan only. Um, so we'll see, but hopefully uh, some new music on streaming services uh, early March. Um, yeah, sh uh, sh shout out to all of you guys. I see you guys flood in the chat. Thank thanks for the love. Um, and vinyl. <laughs> uh, maybe one day vinyl. I've had a lot of people ask. Um, I'm just not good at that kind of stuff. Like, I've made one physical... Dude, story time. So, you know... I think the dream most guitarists that like go into music school or something is like, dude, I want to make a CD, right? Um, I remember I made a CD in like 2012 and I was like, broke, super broke. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, so I'm going to go to the store, get blank CDs, and then get labels. So it's like straight up just a sticker. <laughs> I printed like a CD cover, put the sticker on. And this is in Mississippi and Tennessee. So, dude, <laughs> sold them to people like maybe like five dollars or something, something reasonably cheap. And yeah, straight up just somebody going, yeah, it like the it melted in my car. <laughs> she showed it to me, just the labels all frailed. She left it in her car. Anyways, and uh, I made um. I have uh, my Castles of Spain Taroba album. Honestly, I might do like a Patreon giveaway and just give them all out to people that have been there for a while helping me out. Um, but yeah, I have about like 50 physical CDs that have just been uh, sitting in my closet. So I might do like a giveaway of those. Uh, I don't know if anybody still uses CDs, but um, anyways, it's been a while since I've done... Uh, uh, something like a physical release um, so yeah I'm just not sure uh, how I would even get a vinyl printed anyways uh, th thanks again for uh, being here guys um, it, it means the world to me just people listening uh, to my music so uh, thanks as always um, I just gotta load up my dramatic ending One small leap for man. No, that's not it. What is it? <laughs> One small step for man. One giant leap to end this stream. Mm -hmm.